because we were walking on the freeway. Oh, thank you, Captain Obvious. What was your first clue there, Sergeant Self-Explanatory? General Unmistakable. Colonel Clear as Day. Grab a seat. Okay. Nice to meet you. Oh my god. You guys took your middle of the road advertising literally to the middle of the road. Hey, where's my seat? Oh, very funny. Haha, <laughs> kill my gag. I get it, yeah. Have you ever had car trouble in a place like this? Yeah, in a Chevy. Am I right, guys? Uh... Did you guys really block an entire freeway to make this commercial? God, God damn, Roddy. Chevy doing what they do best, causing traffic jams. Asshole, get off the road! I don't know what to do. I feel helpless. Just call AAA. When I get into my car, I want to know what's going to get me from point A to point B. So dependability ranks pretty high. No, Potts. Yeah. People want to buy a car that doesn't work. I put dependability and quality together. I buy something, I want it to work properly. Wait, so you don't buy something hoping it breaks down immediately? Yeah. Wow, what a novel concept. Okay, I'm gonna go walk in traffic now. One car company has earned JD Power Dependability Awards for cars, trucks, and SUVs. What's a dependability award? You wanna take a guess what company you think that is? So I just looked it up and uh, the dependability awards are based on the 2014 model. Jerk off! And they gave away 18 of them. So you guys got three out of 18. You're basically batting like a 167. Yeah, like the Mario Mendoza of car companies. Not only that, but you guys only ranked high in the features and accessories category. It's like the windshield wipers. Oh, wow, wait. <laughs> it's a Chevy? It's a Chevy. Yeah. Yep, Chevy's the only brand to earn dependability awards for cars, trucks, and SUVs. Yeah, but on the engine and transmission part of it, you guys only got a three out of four. Yeah. Hey, I guess the windshield wipers will work while you're waiting on the tow truck. I definitely feel like I'm in a dependable vehicle right now. I feel a lot more comfortable being in here than I did being on the side of the road. Do you? You've been standing in traffic for 30 minutes. You'd feel safe in a Fiat right now. That's funny. The only way to make getting in a Chevy look like a good idea is to make the alternate standing outside on the freeway. Late again, hope I don't get fucking fired. Thanks, Chevy. Hey, Porch, watch out. I mean, come on. If he dies, I die. JD Power. Quality. Quality. Hey, thanks for watching. That video was brought to you by Dollar Shave Club. Ooh, I don't know, man. Some people don't like us doing sponsorships. Yeah, well, some people don't pay the bills. It's a great deal. Right now, they got that shit shower and shave starter kit for $5. Look, I'm just trying to help them out. You get the Dr. Carver shave butter, body wash, one white Charlie's, and an executive razor with a sleeve of cartridges, all for $5. You're doing it right now, and where is that music coming from? Doing what? Telling the people that they can go to dollarshaveclub.com slash mock and get the first month of the shit shower and shave starter kit for only $5? Stop. You're literally doing commercial. I'm trying to talk to you about not doing commercial. I mean, who wants to go to the store to get razors anyway? And you gotta stand in line behind some old lady who reeks of cat piss while she's picking out like 14 different lottery tickets? No thanks. I just go to dollarshaveclub.com slash mock get my razors delivered to me. You done? Yeah. Thanks for watching.